I am Zina from Honeybees and today I'm filming this video for the Potomac Bead Company. All the beads and materials that I show in the video today are available at the Potomac Bead Company website. They have a flat rate shipping of $2.99 to the VS and Canada, free over a purchase of $75 and a flat rate shipping of $9.99, free over a purchase of $150 worldwide. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet and this is very easy to make but I think this would be a medium project so not very suitable for beginners but you can always try. So let's start. So the materials you will need. You will need some 8-0 seed beads. You will need some 11-0 seed beads. You will need some super duos. You will need some 4mm check beads and I'm using 4mm check um, faceted beads. You will need a piece of lengthening chain and this is optional, it uh, just depends on how long you want to make the bracelet. You will need a clasp, you will need two rings and I'm using 6mm rings. You will need two needles and I'm using size 10 needles. You will need wildfire and I'm using this in 0.50mm in a white color, so this is called frost. You will need a pair of pliers. And you will need a cutter to cut your thread. So let's start. Start by threading your needle with about one and a half arm spans of your thread. You're going to uh, measure one uh, arm span from the tips of your fingers to the other tips of your fingers and you're going to do that one and a half time. We're going to start with picking up eight 11 OC pieces. like this and slide them down and now we're going to crisscross in one 8 OC bead and we're going to bring the beadwork to the middle of our thread because we're going to work from that, uh, that starting point like this now we're going to pick up one 8 O on each side and slide them down. We're going to pick up one 11 all on each side and slide them down. And now we're going to crisscross in one 8 all. Like this, and pull. And it will look like this. This is our starting point. So now we're going to pick up two super duos on each side and slide them down we're going to crisscross in one 8 o and pull like this now we're going to pick up one 8 o on each side and slide them down and we're going to crisscross in one 8 o And pull. And it will look like this. Now we're going to do this until the other end of the bracelet. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up two super duos on each side. We're going to crisscross in one 8 o We're going to pick up one 8 o on each side. We're going to crisscross in one 8 o And then we're going to pick up the super duos again. You're going to do this until you have 17 of these pieces, so the, the super duos pieces on. And in that way you will get a 7 inch bracelet. If you want it a little larger, you can make it a little larger. Then for a 7.5 bracelet, uh, 7.5 inch bracelet, sorry, you will um, need one sequence of this more. So you're going to do that now and then when uh, I'm coming back to you when I finished uh, it to the other end. Now as you can see I made it uh, to the other end of the bracelet and now we're going to make a loop that we did uh, on the other side also. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up one 11 0 seed bead on each needle and slide them down. We're going to pick up one 8 0 on each needle and slide them down. We're going to crisscross in one 8 0 and pull. Like this. 
And now on one needle we're going to pick up 8 11 0 seed beads. Like this. And now we're going to stick our needle in the opposite direction as our thread is coming out of the last bead. So through the 8 0 and pull. And now with the other needle we're going to reinforce this loop so we're going through it and then also through the 8 0. So pick it up and go through the beads. Like this. And then give it a gentle tuck. So that all the beads are straight. Like this. And now we're ready for the next round. We're going to start with one side and we're going to pick up our work. Pick up one 11 0 seed bead and go through the next 8 0 and pull. Then we're going to pick up one 8 0 and we're going through the next top hole of the next super duo. So through this super duo. Now we're going to pick up one super duo and we're going through the next super duo, so the next top row of the next super duo and pull. Now we're going to pick up one 11 0 and we're going through the uh, 8 0 beat that is here in between the super duos and pull. And again we're going to pick up one 11 0 and we're going through the next top hole of the next super duo and pull and it will look like this now we're going to do, do that until we are at the other side so I'm going to show you one more time again I'm picking up one super duo I'm going through the next top hole of the next super duo I'm going to pick up one 11 0 and I'm going through the next 8 0 and pull I'm going to pick up another 11 0 and I'm going through the top row of the next super duo. And now we're going to do that until we are at the other side and then I'm going to show you how you um, end here on the other side. Now I'm at the end of the bracelet and we're going to uh, finish this side. So I'm going to pick up one 8 0 and I'm going through the next 8 0. Like this. Pull. And I'm going to pick up one 11 0 and I'm going through the next 8 0 and pull. And you have to uh, move the beads around a little bit because the beads of the loop will go in front of the 8 0. And now we have one side done and we're going to do the other side. So you're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So you're going to do that all the way and then you're going to end the same only at the opposite side. You're going to end the same as we did on the other side and then I'm coming back to you. As you can see I'm now at the other end of the bracelet and both threads are coming out of this seed bead so that's the 8 or seed bead. We're going to start with one side first and we're going through the 11 0 and through the next two 8 0's and pull. Now we're going to pick up three 11 0 and we're going through the next top hole of the last super duo that we added and pull. Now we're going to pick up one 8 0, one 4 millimeter and one 8 0. And we're going through the next top hole of the next super duo like this. And that is what we're going to do all around. So what we're going to do, we're going to add in between all the super duos 1 8 0, 1 4 millimeter and 1 8 0. And you're going to do that until you are at the other side. Then I'm going to show you how you can make the turn and then we're going to do the, the same on the other side. Now as you can see I'm on the other end of the bracelet and I'm going to pick up 3 11 0 seed beads. And I'm going through the next 2 8 0 seed beads and through the next 11 0 and pull. Then I'm going through the middle 8-0 and pull. 
I'm going to turn my work around because I think it works easier. Now you're going to lay your work straight. And then I'm going through the next 11 0 and through the next two 8 0 beads and pull. And there also we're going to pick up three 11 0 single beads. And we're going through the next top hole of the next super duo. Now we're going to do the same as we did on the other side until we are at the end. And then we're going to do the same here and ending in the middle 8 0 here. So you're going to do that to the other side also now. So you're going to pick up 1 8 0, 1 4 millimeter and 1 8 0. And you're going through the next top hole of the next super duo and make it to the other side. And now we are ready to add our last row. So we're going to pick up pick up sorry our other needle and we're going to do that uh, the one with the longest thread and we're going through the next 11 0 and through the next two 8 0 and pull and then we wrapped around my loop sorry and then we're going through the next three seed beads like this And now we're going to start this row with picking up two. And then we're going through the 8 0, the 4 millimeter, and the next 8 0, and pull. And in this way, we made uh, the edge here. And now we're going to pick up two seed beads, so two 11 0 seed beads. And we're going through the next 8 0, the next 4 millimeter, and the next 8 0, and pull. And in that way we're making here uh, a little uh, embellishment. And we're going to do that all around. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up two seed beads again. And we're going through the next 8-0, the next 4 millimeter, and the next 8-0. You're going to do that all around and you're going to make the same round as we did before. So you're going, uh, when you end through the super duo, the three seed beads, the two 8 0s the 11 0, the 8 0, the 11 0, the 2 8 0s, and here the 3 uh, 11 0s. And then you're going to do that on the other side also. So when you've done that, I'm coming back to you. And now we're almost finished. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up one needle and we're going through the next 3 seed beads. So the next 3 11 0 seed beads of the loop of 8. And we're going up like this. And then we're going to make a double knot loop here. So I'm going with my needle underneath the thread to make a loop with my thread. And I'm going to stick my needle in it and give it a gentle pull. And you're going to do this one more time again. I'm having an extra knot. Yes, like this. Then we're going through the rest of the beads. So we're going through the next beads that are next to that. So through all the eight beads. And then we're going to end in the 8 0. So that's the 8 0 underneath the loop. And I can do that quickly. Yes, and like this. And pull. Now you're going to do the same on the other side, so you're going through the next three seed beads, you're going to make a double knot loop here, you're going through the other beads, and then you're going to end in the 8 0 and there you're going to cut your thread. And when you've done that, I'm going to show you how you can attach the uh, rings, and then we're done. And now we are ready to attach our rings and our clasp. So we're going to open a ring, and be gentle. Then we're going to hook it on the uh, ring, or sorry, the hoop we made here. We're going to attach our clasp, close it up, like this. And we're going to do the same on the other side, but we're going to add the lengthening chain there. So we're going to open a ring, we're going to hook it on the loop, and attach our a lengthening chain and then we're going to close it up and that is it 
So I really hope you liked this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this tutorial. Subscribe to Potomac Mac Beat Company. Subscribe to me, I am Zina from Honey Beats and you can find me on YouTube. And I hope to see you the next time. Bye, have a nice day.